Welcome everyone. This is Kevin from CXC Tutor back again with another exam solution video. This time we're going through question 10b from the May June mathematics paper 2. This question, as we can see from the diagram, is a bearings question and it has some information on it already and also written information. So let's see what they give us. It says Q is 80 kilometers from P, R is 100 kilometers from Q on a bearing of 066 degrees, angle PQR is 54 degrees. And we are asked in the first question to calculate the bearing of P from Q. So this is P, this is P, and this is Q. And the angle P from Q would be the angle that comes all the way around like this. So how are we going to calculate that? Well, from the information it said that R from Q is 066 degrees, which is 66 degrees. And they give us already P from Q, which is 54. So, the answer to this should be 66 degrees plus 54 degrees, and that should give you 120 degrees. That is all it is for part one. Part two now asks us to calculate the distance PR correct to two decimal places. That would be this distance here. Now to do that, you have to first understand that this triangle is a non right angle triangle. Therefore, you have to use either the sine or cosine rule. But because we have two sides and an angle in between, the cosine rule is the best rule to use for this question. And this is the cosine rule here. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2bc cos a so a squared is going to be equal to b is going to be by 80 so 80 squared plus my c is going to be my 100 minus 2bc that is 2 times 80 times 100 costs 54 degrees. Now we have all of that. All that's left to do is to simplify. So 80 squared plus 100 squared, that is 164,000 minus 9,000. 404.56 and that should equal to 6,995.44 and all of this is A squared so to find A I would find the square root of that which should give me 83.64 kilometers. That means my answer for here should be 83.64. So that's part two completed. Now the last part asks us to calculate the measurement of the angle QPR to the nearest degree. So again, we're going to use the cosine rule, but we're going to use the version that helps us to solve for the angle. So we are looking for this angle in between here. And to do that, you follow the rule. That angle is going to be our C. So cos C 
is going to equal 80 squared plus the angle with the side we just worked out which is 83.64 squared minus now this is will be the side that is facing the angle so that will be the hundred squared all divided by two times eighty times eighty three point six four that should give me a number of 0 0.2537 and therefore C should equal to the cost inverse of that number which is 75 degrees so if you turn back the page that means the angle here angle QPR is nothing more than 75 degrees now I hope you found this video helpful and if you enjoyed it please feel free to like share and comment and visit us at cxctutor.org where you can find more videos just like this. Thank you for watching.